Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton boxers, and tonight, a good old-fashioned battle of Brockton as the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals come over to the west side to take on the big three divisional champion Brockton boxers. Brockton gearing up for a big playoff run, and they are pumped up here tonight on senior night as they will say goodbye to five of se the senior boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports from this very good evening from Marciano Stadium. A little bit cold, but not windy, not raining. Certainly better than some of the games we've covered in the last uh, couple of weeks. A good one in store for us tonight. Spellman uh, played Brockton two games into the season and beat them 6-1 to one behind leadership from number 23, Christina Schneider, and uh, senior goalkeeper, Julia Schneider, number 25. So we'll keep an eye on that. Brockton definitely looking for a little bit of revenge with their crosstown rival. Brockton, of course, being led by number 22, Jen Caruso, the dynamic scorer, number 10, Narita Montrand, and number 24, Ariana Silvia. And backstopping the boxes is Tori Viola, who has done an excellent job. She's only a freshman this year, but she's done an excellent job keeping the Brockton boxers in games this year. Both teams getting ready for kickoff after the short pregame ceremony. Both teams poised, looking to make deep playoff runs. Brockton looks ready for action taking the field. Spellman trying to get a little bit hyped up right now at their own 30-yard line of the football markings. Big week in sports for the Brockton Boxers. Tonight, the senior night for the Lady Boxers here against Spellman. Wednesday night, it's the Brockton High boys soccer team to say farewell to their seniors. And Friday night... <coughs> Football returns to Marciano <coughs> Stadium with round one of the playoffs, Brockton against BC High. Of course, Brockton beating BC High earlier in the season. We'll have all those games for you on BCA Sports as Brockton looks to start off this game on the right foot. We are underway. Jen Crusoe has it for the Brockton Boxers. She tries to turn the corner, gets it up to number 25, Megan Anderson, who gets it back to Crusoe. Crusoe loses it. Now Ariana Sylvia, number 24 for the Brockton Boxers, in the middle of the field. Spellman takes it back. A little bit of a push by number 20 for the Boxers. Tiana Brooks, no call. And Brockton is going to be forced to kick it back upfield. Jen Crusoe looking to make a run on the far sideline. It goes out of bounds off of Spellman, so Brockton will have a throw in. Not a bad start. Very fast paced so far here at Marciano Stadium. Sylvia now. Now Spellman with some room to run, but Tiana Brooks comes all the way across field and it goes out of bounds off of her foot, so it'll be a Spellman throwing just about midfield. Brockton head coach Admir De Silva in his first season as interim head coach. Of course, Coach Andrea Tassinari on maternity leave for the duration of this season. 
Tiana Brooks with a very deep throw in. Del Pico kicks it out, but it goes off of a Cardinal. Narita Montron kicks it over her head to Del Pico. Del Pico pressured, gets it over to Sylvia. Sylvia back to Montron. Montron kicking it long for Caruso. Caruso's got some room. Caruso shot on net into the hands of Julia Schneider. The first scoring opportunity for either team and it's saved by the goaltender for the Cardinals, Bellamy Cardinals. Now Spellman's got an opportunity. Tori Viola slides out, makes an excellent diving save off of the attempt. Number 11 for Cardinal Spellman, Kendall Pitts, was on a semi breakaway, and Tori Viola just did an excellent job. Now a cross, unable to be handled by the Cardinals, and the eventual shot going high and wide over the net. Up and down the field they go here at Marciano Stadium. A short three minutes into this game, both teams with a good scoring opportunity. Tori Brooks with the goal kick and it's gonna be picked up by Tori Viola. Now Spellman has another opportunity. The shot off the hands of Viola and she is able to pick up after bobbling it. Another good opportunity for Spellman. And that was number 13, Adriana Fucciucci. Russo looking to make a run on the far side. She's got it. Her cross for Narita Montron. The shot goes through the football uprights, but keeps nothing on the scoreboard for Brockton. It's gonna be a goal kick for Schneider of Spellman. Thirty-five and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Still scoreless from Marciano Stadium. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Montron back to Brooks. Brooks up the sideline looking for Del Pico. Doesn't connect. And Spellman kicks it out of bounds. Couple of nice headers by Brockton, and now they end up with a throw in further along down the Spellman sideline. Topico trying to turn, gets it over to Brooks. Brooks looking for Caruso upfield. Goes out of bounds off of Jen Caruso, so it'll be a Spellman throw in. Back and forth action here so far. A very well played game for both teams thus far in the first five minutes. We see the flip. We see the the flip, I believe that was number 15, Amanda Almeida. We've seen that three or four times thus far this season. We're gonna see it again. A throw in a goal! Narita Montron heads it in, Brockton on top, one to nothing.
33 and a half minutes to go. Narita Montron scores a big first goal for the Brockton Boxers. That's what's setting the tone on senior nights all about right there. Brockton up one to nothing. 33 minutes left in the first half. Fresh off the goal by Narita Montrand. Tiana Brooks kicks it out of bounds. Spellman will have a throw in deep in boxer territory. Nice cross leads to a Spellman opportunity. Two boxers collide. And it will eventually lead to a Cardinal Spellman throw-in. Not too far out from the goal line. Keanu Brooks is going to clear, but not far enough. The shot just missed on the header was number 15. Emily Rowan. Now Brockton back the other way, Jen Crusoe. Crusoe just taps it up and it's put out of bounds by Cardinal Spellman. And we're gonna have a handball called against Jen Caruso for Brockton and it's gonna be free kick for the Cardinals at their own 14 yard line. Now Crusoe still playing with that injured wrist. Mantra end up looking for Anderson, doesn't connect. And Crusoe commits a hold and it'll be another Spellman free kick from deep in their own territory. Brockton forced to put it out of bounds. Rowan will inbound it. Now Liz Buckley getting in to the action for the Brockton Boxers, putting that one out of bounds, negating a Spellman opportunity. Spellman's cross, here's an opportunity, the shot, and a goal by Cardinal Spellman. Tie game with just a short 10 minutes into this game. Cardinal Spellman scores a goal of their own to tie this game 10 minutes into this game. And that was number 15, Emily Rowan on the goal for Spellman. Spellman goal by Emily Rowan. Tori Brooks up high for Narita Montrand. And we have a whistle. It's going to be a push called against Cardinal Spellman. All tied up, 29 minutes remaining in the first half, one to one. Off goals by Rowan and Montrand. <coughs> now Narita Montrand will switch out for Ariana Almeida on the free kick. A funky bounce off of the knee for Spellman, leads to a Brockton opportunity, but Spellman able to kick it out. Now Almeida on the far side.
Del Pico chasing it down, gets it back to Liz Buckley, who clears it far upfield, looking for Caruso. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. We're going to see the flip by Amanda Almeida again. Caruso has it in front of the net. If she can turn around, she might be able to get a fairly decent shot off. Now Rita Montron. The shot off the hands of Schneider off the bottom of the football goal post and on top of the net. An excellent opportunity. I believe that was Narita Montron firing off that opportunity. An excellent save by Julia Schneider for Cardinal Spellman. Leads to a corner kick for the boxers. Del Pico, cross midfield, bounces back to Ariane Almeida who tries to get Caruso going. Jennifer Caruso makes an excellent move, crosses up the Cardinal Spellman defender and she's got it. She gets it up to Almeida who gets back to Montreal and the quick shot going to be fired. It's going to bounce off a Spellman defender and it is going to be picked up by Schneider. Deep kick across midfield for Julia Schneider. Brockton throwing, goes off the head of one of the Cardinals. Ariana Sylvia battling for it along the far sideline. Handful of Cardinal Spellman substitutions getting ready to come in the game as Jen Caruso gets it up to Narita Montra and tries to spring Del Pico, but it's going to be picked up by Schneider. Liz Buckley heads it up to Sylvia, who gets it across to Almeida. Now Spellman in on a breakaway. It's not going to be ruled off sides, and Liz Buckley fighting for the ball. She's going to kick it back to Tori Viola, who's going to pick it up. <laughs> 25 minutes left in the first half, all tied up at one. The Battle of Brockton, Cardinal Spellman Cardinals against the Brockton Boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Tiana Brooks forced to kick it out of bounds, and we're, the Spellman substitutions going to come in number two, number 12, number eight, and number 11. So Faith Montgomery, Noelle Moliere, Nina Joseph, and Molly Richardson all coming in for the Cardinals. Handful of players from both sides fighting for it down in the boxer corner, and Spellman comes up with a throw in. Liz Buckley held up a bit, no whistle. That should be a goal kick for Brockton, and it will be. off of the face of Nerita Montron. Goes down into the boxer corner. It's going to be kicked out of bounds by Tiana Brooks. Thrown straight to the foot of Elizabeth Buckley. Kicked out of danger for the moment, but Spellman still threatening. 
Liz Buckley clears it out, and it's going to go stay inbounds. An excellent play by Jen Caruso to keep that ball inbounds. Now Spellman turns the other way. Number eight looking for a cross. She gets tripped up. She still got it. Tiana Brooks kicks it out of bounds. An excellent defensive play by number 20, Tiana Brooks. Noel Molier throws it in for the Cardinals, but it ends up out of bounds, so it'll be another Brockton goal kick. Tiana Brooks to take the kick for the Brockton Boxers. Low short kick, only going about 25 yards. It'll come back to Brooks, who gets it up to Narita Montrond. Montrond has this, the ball stolen by number 23. Christina Schneider, the shot. Bobbled by Viola and eventually picked up. Tori Viola staying strong in net for the Brockton Boxers. Almeida chase it down. Now Jen Crusoe turning a corner. She's in a foot race. She has the ball, and it's going to be put out of bounds by Spellman, so Brockton will have a throw in. <coughs> a couple of Brockton boxes substitutions coming in. Michaela Robinson, number 20. Five, number six for the boxers, Zaney Silva. And they will replace Ariane Almeida, Megan Anderson. And the shot into the hands of Julia Schneider. Another good save by the Spellman goaltender. Excellent kick going about 65 yards. Now shot's going to be picked up by Tori Viola as we approach the halfway mark in the first half. are thrown on the far sideline. A little bit of a missed kick by the Spellman defender leads to a Brockton opportunity if they can get a shot off. Ball bouncing back and forth between teams and it's eventually going to go out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman. player taken down it's going to be a free kick for the Cardinals nineteen and a half minutes to go Spellman has a free kick at the Brockton 31 yard line Still with possession, it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Tory Brooks. Now Liz Buckley heads it up to Megan Del Pico, Maria Del Pico, rather. Up and down the field they go here at Marciano Stadium.
collision and it will be a Spellman free kick just inside of midfield. Brockton committing a fair amount of penalties in the last couple of minutes. Liz Buckley steps up on number 12 for the Cardinals. That is Noel Molier. Montron turns with it, still has it. Gets it up to Del Pico, who's looking ahead for Caruso. And it's going to be picked up by Julius Schneider before Caruso can get to it. Lara Andrade fighting for the ball as Sylvia goes down. We're going to have a whistle and a free kick for Brockton at about midfield. All the boxers upfield for this free kick. going to be taken by number 15 for the boxers, Amanda Almeida. Her kick right into the ribs of a Cardinal Spellman player, but it's kicked out of bounds by Laura Andrade. It'll be a Spellman throwing. Pillman defeating Brockton by a score of 6-1 to one earlier in the season. It's Brockton looking for some revenge here tonight. Spellman with stingy defense gets it upfield to about the 30-yard line. Kicked out of bounds by Brockton, so Spellman has a throw in. But Brockton takes it right back, an opportunity if they can get the ball. Now Liz Buckley. Torso charging in again, creating a lot of pressure. That was Zaney Silva, rather, on the far side, charging in on Julius Schneider. All tied up at one goal apiece. 15 minutes left in the first half between the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals and the Brockton Boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Now Spellman player down, number 11. That is Kendall Pitts on the far sideline. She's slow to get up. She does get up and runs upfield. Good stop by Ariana Sylvia to get that ball. Now she charges ahead with it. The cross for Caruso. Caruso's fighting for it in the box and it's finally put out, but kept in bounds by Cardinal Spellman. Excellent opportunity for the Brockton Boxers. Now Liz Buckley might be caught trying to go upfield. Tori Viola is all the way out of her net by about 30 yards to chase that ball down. We have a whistle and five more substitutions coming in for the Cardinals Public Cardinals. Along with Tori Brooks re-entering the game, replacing Lara Andrade. Mm. 
It's taken by Ernie Almeida. She's looking to spring Narita Montron this time. Brockton with the dual threat up front of Montron and Caruso, and it's broken up. Stingy defense by number one for the Cardinals, Lisa Evans. Brockton coming away with the greater amount of opportunities here in the last five minutes. Tori Perks run into and heads it out of bounds, so it'll be a Spellman throwing inside Boxer territory. Put out of bounds by Brooks. And it should be a goal kick. It is for the Brockton Boxers. Put out of bounds by one of the Cardinals. Tori Brooks to take the goal kick for the Brockton Boxers. Another short kick by Brooks, only goes about 30 yards, but it's picked up by Narita Montron. Brooks being hassled is forced to kick it out of bounds. Number 28 throws it in for Spellman. That is Melissa Zulon. Fourteen to throw it in for the Cardinals. Almeida with a very deep throw for Brockton gets up to Narita Montron. Montron with a very nice move to get around two Spellman forwards, but it's put out of bounds by Cardinal Spellman. Almeida with another deep throw, and uh, that is Tori Brooks, rather, on the throw-in. And Liz Buckley forced to put it out of bounds. Spellman with it in Brockton's zone. They're going to try to get a shot on net. They do, and it's caught by the hands of Tori Viola. Miscommunication by the boxer's defensive line, and it goes into the hands of Viola. Couple of boxer substitutions getting ready to come in the game. Number 15, Amanda Almeida, Ariana Almeida, number four, Laura Andrade, number 17, and number 23, Nadia Cardozo, all getting ready to enter the game. Liz Buckley has it with some room. She gets it up to Jennifer Caruso. Caruso's got a couple of uh, Spellman players to beat. She gets past one. Charging up field. She could launch a shot from right here. Wouldn't be a bad opportunity. Caruso all the way to the corner. Makes an excellent move. Gets around another spell and player. The shot just over the crossbar. 
Jennifer Caruso with an excellent opportunity from the far sideline just high over the crossbar. And there's an injured Cardinal on the sideline being attended to by Jerry Connors. It is number two, Faith Montgomery. And Jerry looks like she's evaluating Faith for a concussion. Andra miffs on the kick. She's taken down on the sideline. No whistle. Del Pico fighting for it. Gonna be a Spellman free kick from just outside the box. Julia Schneider back to kick. Off the head of Ariana Silvia and out of bounds. A shot goes just wide. A good opportunity by Spellman. I believe that was Rowan again. Rowan, of course, the goal scorer for the Cardinals. fighting for it in the middle of the field. It's picked up by Sylvia over to Andrade, but Sylvia takes it back. Carrying to Sylvia up to Jennifer Caruso. Caruso trying to turn the corner. She stops, dances, gets around a defender using her speed. Goes over, she's got an opportunity, she's got it! The shot, it's a goal for Jennifer Caruso! Jennifer Caruso with magic, taking that ball in all the way from midfield, dancing around Spellman defenders. Brockton's up two to one with five minutes left in the half. What a goal by Jen Caruso. Half of the dual threat of forwards for the Brockton Boxers along with the other goal scorer tonight, Narita Montrand. Two to one the score, Brockton up. Five minutes left in the first half. Caruso with it again. Fresh off the goal. Gets it up to Sylvia who looks to get it back to Caruso. Unsuccessful, now Spellman has it upfield. A Spellman forward using a speed, excellent shot, and another goal! For Cardinal Spellman lighting up the scoreboard. Number 15, Emily Rowan, her second of the night, all tied up. And Emily Rowan showing off her speed for Cardinal Spellman, scoring her second of the night. Jen Caruso with it now. Lots of action here in the first half between the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals and the Brockton Boxers. A good old fashioned battle of Brockton all tied up at two with time winding down in the first half. Packed house here at Marciano Stadium for senior night of course, Spellman not that far away from here at Brockton High. Bringing a good contingent of fans 
with them as well. Liz Buckley gives it up to Spellman. Now Rowan has it again, but she goes down. And she just looks like she slipped a little bit. It's picked up by Tori Viola. No harm, no foul. Viola with the kick. Very short up to Maria Del Pico. Del Pico's running to no whistle. Elizabeth Buckley clears it to midfield. Good stick by Lara Andrade. Now Proctor with an opportunity. Jen Crusoe with a good move. She's got some room. The shot into the hands of Julia Schneider. Another good opportunity for Jen Caruso. Brockton performing well, of course. Head coach Andrea Tassinari in attendance for senior night tonight. Motivating the Brockton boxers. Another shot is picked up by Viola. Two minutes left in the half. Official time is kept on the field by the officials. Jen Crusoe with it in the middle of the field. Stops. Pops. Gets her on the defender. Crusoe dancing. Her shot into the hands but bobbled by Julia Schneider. And she's eventually able to pick it up. Jen Crusoe firing shots on net from all sides of the field. Liz Buckley has a nice step up on the Spellman forward. There's a Spellman player down, we're gonna have a whistle. And that whistle is going to be on Ariana Almeida. Spellman player still down, rolling over, holding her right leg. Head coach Mike Perry out to check on the down Cardinal along with Jerry Connors and assistant coach Meredith McManus. What's that Spellman player going straight down, clutching at her right leg. Two to two the score, we have an injury timeout on the field. Battle of Brockton, two goals for Emily Rowan for Cardinal Spellman, both Narita Montron and Jen Crusoe with goals for Brockton. Number 19 is the injured Cardinal, that is Jess Harlow. She gets up and walks off under her own power, which is always a good sign. be a free kick for the Cardinals just inside midfield. <coughs> kick looking for a fast start was Cardinal Spellman. The referee saying the injured Cardinal is not yet off the field so he can't start. Ariana Sylvia has it, gets it up to Jen Caruso. Caruso weaving, gets it back to Almeida, uh, Sylvia rather. Sylvia looks for Del Pico. Del Pico trying to chase it down. It's gonna go off of Del Pico and out of bounds, so it'll be a Spellman throwing. Good idea by the Brockton Boxers. Headed by Elizabeth Buckley. Up to Lara Andrade. Andrade to Del Pico. Another Spell Spellman player goes down but get pops right up. Now Del Pico with a good defensive play keeping the ball on the boxer side of the field. 
We're going to have a hold against Ariana Silvia, who doesn't understand what the call is for. Quick restart for the Cardinals, but they kick it right out of bounds. Bodies flying everywhere here at Marciano Stadium the last two minutes of the first half. There's going to be about 30 seconds left in the first half. Two to two the score. And an action-packed night here at Marciano Stadium. Jen Caruso dances around the defender, gets around another one. Jen Caruso stopping, weighing her options, gets it over to number 13. Who lets it go for Ariana Almeida. Sylvia for Del Pico. Del Pico charging up field. It's going to be kicked out of bounds by Spellman. Brockton will have a throw in with not much time left here in the first half. Laura Andrade is going to take the throw for Brockton. She gets it to Del Pico. Del Pico held up, but able to keep the ball in bounds, makes a nice turn. She's pushed down, that should be a free kick, and it will be a free kick for the Brockton Boxers. It's gonna be taken by Jen Caruso, just outside the box. Spellman with a wall of two players. Jen Caruso looking to net her second goal of the night. The kick is up. The kick is off of the football crossbar. Brockton with another good opportunity with maybe about 20 seconds left in the first half. One more free kick from Julia Schneider. Laura Andrade gets it up to Jen Caruso. It's cleared by Spellman to midfield. Elizabeth Buckley will chase it down and kick it upfield. The whistle blows. So the score at the end of the first half, two to two. The Battle of Brockton, very much action packed so far. Two goals for Emily Rowan and a goal apiece for Narita Montrond and Jen Caruso on the Brockton end of things. We'll be back for the second half right after this. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back to the second half of action between the Cardinals, Spellman Cardinals, and your Brockton Boxers. That's right, we got a good old-fashioned battle of Brockton going on here at Marciano Stadium. All tied up 2-2 two to, two. to start the second half. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. And there's been a lot of action tonight. Two goals by Emily Rowan for Cardinal Spellman and a goal apiece for Narita Montrand and Jen Caruso and numerous more opportunities for both sides. Spellman starting out with possession in the second half. Rowan has it, gives it to Narita Montrand. Julia Schneider keeping Spellman in this game num numerous times tonight. Now Spellman with an opportunity on the far sideline. Player is taken down, but no whistle. Good save by Tori Viola, the first shot of the second half. <coughs> Del Pico is pushed, no whistle, and it goes out of bounds off of Cardinal Spellman.
senior night here at Marciano Stadium. Fox is wishing farewell to Narita Montron, Jen Crusoe, among others. Schneider with a very high kick, not very far. Goes out of bounds. I want to thank our crew for tonight's festivities in the truck. We have director extraordinaire Aaron Tebow. On the cameras, we have the doctor, the tuna, President Dr. P, the big tuna, Patrick Lease. Still got to come up with a nickname for Jay. But we have Jay Miller and Eamon Convoy, both of which need nicknames. We'll have the Mad Dog Research team as Narita Montron gets it up to Jen Caruso, but it's broken up. Caruso streaking towards the near side. She's able to keep it in bounds. Get around the defender, Jen Caruso with the cross to Montron. Brockton still with it in the box. Finally Spellman able to clear it out, but a scary moment there for Spellman. Now Lara Andrade. The cross to Del Pico. Now Ariane Almeida. Back to Sylvia. Over to Montron. Montron stops. Pops up to Caruso. Caruso stops. Unable to keep it in bounds, but Caruso trying to weave magic again. Out of bounds off Spellman. Brockton with a free kick, rather deep in Spellman ter territory. Ariane Almeida will take it. The kick right on net, top corner. It's picked by Julia Schneider, a good save. Buckley. We have a push against Spellman. It's going to be free kick for Brockton. A little bit better of an angle to be taken by Ariana Almeida, but it's about 35 yards out. Almeida lining it up. The kick is up low into the feet of Maria Del Pico. Now Spelman with a good takeaway off the back of number 15, Amanda Almeida. And Brockton able to put it out of bounds back across midfield. It will be a Spelman throw in. Emily Rowan, broken up by Andron. Now Almeida. Almeida out of bounds. This Buckley kicks it back out to midfield to be taken by Narita Montron, broken up by Spellman. Almeida gets it back to midfield, back in fourth action. Spellman's got it for the moment. Now Brockton's got it. Del Pico on the far sideline. Gets it up to Kayla Robinson. Brockton throwing on the far side. Seen a little bit of everything in this game. We've seen the notorious inbound throw and flip from Amanda Almeida a couple of times. Seen a couple of goals. We've seen magic. 
A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now Spellman has the ball. Cross for Rowan, broken up by Liz Buckley. Number 23 puts it on net, and it's gonna be saved by Tori Viola. Good opportunity for Christina Schneider. Spellman throwing on the far side. Broken up momentarily by Lara Underhood, but it goes out of bounds. Now, Tori Villa sliding on her net. She bobbles it. Ariana Sylvie gets it out of pressure momentarily, but Almeida chases it down. And she's got it. Off the ref, staying in bounds was Narita Montron, and she's got it. Looking for Anderson. Connects now Jen Caruso, falling over another Spellman player. Caruso is slow to get up. And slightly favoring her right side is Jen Caruso, now Narita Montron with it. to throw in Montron to Caruso. Caruso right through the legs of a Spellman defender. Now Spellman with an opportunity. Emily Rowan back the other way. Up and down the field they go. Kicked out by Liz Buckley. Number 18 to throw it in is Molly Richardson for Spellman. She'll try it again. And a third time. Number six with a shot into the box. Viola dives on it, a good save. Spellman throwing a little bit of confusion on the far side. But Liz Buckley has it. Now Spellman has the opportunity. It's going to be whistled off sides against Cardinal Spellman. The first off sides of the night. Be a free kick for the Brockton Boxers at their own 20 yard line. Meet up to midfield, headed by Montron. We're gonna have a push ruled against Brockton. 10 minutes into the second half, still tied up two to two. The Battle of Brockton. Number six inbounds it. That is Hannah Boucher. Liz Buckley up looking for Anderson. It's gonna go to Montron. Montron for Caruso. Caruso stops, gets around the defender. We've seen her do that so many times tonight. Gets around another one. She's in the far corner of the shot. Right into the hands of Julia Schneider, an excellent save. Julia Schneider, a rock in net. Only letting in two out of many shots for the Brockton Boxers. Spellman will have a throw in, but we have a substitution. Number nine entering the game, that is Maggie Descenzo. She replaces number 13 as Spellman launches shot on net. Number 13 for Spellman 
Adriana Fertucci. Tiana Brooks to take the goal kick for Brockton. Marita Montrondo over to Sylvia. Sylvia up for Caruso. Caruso back to Sylvia with a one-touch pass. Now Montron. Brockton with an opportunity, but they lose the ball. And it'll be a Brockton throw and right in front of their own bench. Ariana Almeida to take the throw. She gets it up to Caruso. Back to the head of Sylvia over to Caruso. Out of bounds off of Spellman. Brockton with a throw deep, deep, deep in Spellman territory. Amanda Almeida is going to attempt to flip one more time. She flips, she inbounds it. Spellman able to get ahead on it and get it out of pressure. A great show of athleticism by Amanda Almeida using the ball as a point of impact. Now Spellman with an opportunity back the other way. Liz Buckley trips up, Spellman with a breakaway. The shot, excellent save by Viola, but the ball is still loose. Another shot. Just missed by Tiana Brooks in a goal for Cardinal Spellman. Emily Rowan, the hat trick. Spellman goal by Emily Rowan. Emily Rowan, her third of the night, scoring a hat trick, putting the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals on top. 13 minutes into the second half, three to two. Elizabeth Buckley came up injured on that last play, holding her wrist. So number 13 enters the game for Brockton. Caruso with the ball. About to go out of bounds, it'll be a Brockton throw. Caruso takes it. Montron into Sylvia. Sylvia. Dangling, gets it up to Almeida. Almeida with the powerful shot on net. It goes well wide. It'll be a goal kick for Spellman with 25 and a half minutes remaining. Montrand pops it up for Caruso. Caruso grabs it, stops, pops, holds, pops again, drags down a Spellman defender. We're going to have a whistle. Jen Caruso not happy. And the referee uh, walking over to Jen Caruso to have a word. Spellman inbounds it. Almeida runs into number eight for Spellman. It is Nina Joseph. Ten Caruso now. Dangling. Back to Lara Andrade. Gets it up to Sylvia. Now Del Pico. Del Pico back to number 13 for the boxers. Back and forth action across midfield. Spellman's got it for the moment. Emily Rowan looking for another one. <coughs> the box are throwing deep in their own territory.
out of bounds off of Brockton. We have a handful of Spellman substitutions. Head coach Mike Perry keeping fresh legs out there for the Cardinals. Out of bounds off of Brockton again. That name sounds familiar, Mike Perry. He's the head coach of the reigning Division III state champion men's basketball team for Cardinal Spellman. He's been there 39 years. Pulling double duties as the girls soccer coach. We're gonna have a free kick for Spellman just inside the corner. The shot right through the crease off a couple of Cardinal heads. And out the other side, it goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Brockton. Mackenzie O'Reilly entering the game along with Zany Silva. Replacing Del Pico and number 25, Megan Anderson. Opportunity for Spellman, it's broken up. <coughs> Three to two lead the, for the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals. Off of a hat trick goal for Emily Rowan. Brockton, Brockton looking to get some pressure on. It'll be a boxer throwing. with another opportunity it's going to be broken up good defensive play by Laura Andrade Sylvie up to Narita Montron broken up by the Spelman back line and number one Lisa Evans now a shot skips on Tori Viola, but she picks it up. Halfway through the second half, three to two, Spellman lead over Brockton. Ariana Almeida goes down, and Sylvia pressuring the ball. Sylvia up for Montron. Montron trying to find Caruso upfield, unsuccessful. Very lively crowd here at Marciano Stadium tonight. Now Mackenzie O'Reilly trying to chase it down for Brockton. It goes out of bounds and Brockton will have a throw. And we have a whistle, a Spellman player that was initially down Got back up and just went down again at midfield. Not a good thing to see. Spellman player down right in the middle of the boxer at midfield. As I said, she went down at the Spellman 40-yard line. Got back up went right over to one of her teammates at the 50, held her arm and then uh, fell, went back down. Might just be winded, hopefully just winded. We 
We have another injury timeout just across the halfway mark in the second half. Spellman up at the moment, 3-2 lead off of a hat trick for Emily Rowan, who is getting ready to re-enter the game for Spellman. Number 13, the injured Cardinal Adriana Fortucci. She's able to get off and walk off under her own power. The boxer crowd uh, yelling their appreciation for head trainer Jerry Connors is earning her money's worth tonight. number of the boxer football team in attendance tonight, along with the boxer boys soccer team. Entering the game now for Spellman. <laughs> she replaces number twelve, Noel Molier. with it now. Already with a hat trick looking for more. Spellman player goes down. It's going to be a free kick for Spellman. <coughs> Deep in boxer territory right outside the box at about the 15 yard line of the football markings. Spellman with opportunity. Rowan already with three goals looking for more right here. Brockton has a wall of four players. The shot is up. The shot is wide, unable to be kept in by Spellman, and it'll be a Brockton throw, and Brockton escaping danger right there. A low skipping kick by Tiana Brooks goes to Mackenzie O'Reilly. O'Reilly off of a Spellman defender. Now back for Brooks, who... Looks upfield for Caruso. Caruso with it. Going horizontally. Now up to Narita Montron who tries to tap it back to Caruso, but it's broken up by a Spellman defender. 17 minutes left. In the second half, 3-2 Spellman still on top. Battle of Brockton. A shot looks like it's going to go wide. It does. Goal kick for Brockton. Back and forth action here in the second half. Spellman getting a goal. Brockton getting a couple of opportunities that have been saved pretty excellently by Julia Schneider. Andrade back 
But it's broken up by Spellman. The shot, that's another goal for Spellman. A long shot from the 25 yard line. Number seven for Cardinal Spellman, Caroline Kilfoy. A Spellman goal puts him up by a score of four to two. And we have a timeout called by head coach Admir De Silva of Brockton. Kilfoy with a goal putting Spellman up by two. Kilfoy just the second Cardinal to find the score sheet tonight. Of course, the first three goals coming from Emily Rowan. Hannah Boucher on the goal number six. Correction, Spellman goal by Hannah Boucher. So Boucher is only the second Cardinal to find the score sheet tonight. The first three goals coming from Emily Rowan. Fifteen and a half minutes left in the second half. Spellman now up four to two over the Brockton Boxers. Head coach Admir De Silva looking to spark some enthusiasm in his boxer team. Very lively crowd here at Marciano tonight. Megan Anderson running to and she gets up a little bit gingerly. We're gonna see another flip by Almeida. The flip, the far throw, right into the box, but broken up by the head of one of the Cardinals. Out of bounds off of Spellman, so it'll be a Brockton throw in deep in Spellman territory. Anderson gonna flip again. Almeida, rather. Gonna flip. It's amazing how athletic someone has to be to use the ball as a point of contact with the ground, and then balance all the way through. Almeida, the only boxer that has attempted it this season and perfecting it. Now a shot by Del Pico goes to the feet of Montron Caruso with a one-timer and it shanked off the side of her foot. That was Mackenzie O'Reilly rather on the opportunity. Spellman with a couple of more substitutions. Schneider will have a goal kick.
Fumble with another opportunity. This is Rowan again. An excellent save by Tori Viola, but Brockton leaves an empty net. Excellent defensive play by Mackenzie O'Reilly breaking up the shot by Spellman. Number 18 on the secondary shot, Molly Richardson. Brockton kicks it out again. Dorita Montron pushed, no whistle, and it's gonna be a Spellman throw in. Emily Rowan deep, the cross, broken up by Almeida, but Spellman still with the upper hand, goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Spellman with another throw. Dorita Montron gets around the defender, kicks it up, and it's taken by Lisa Evans of Spellman. Twelve minutes left to go in the second half. Four to two lead for Cardinal Spellman over Brockton High. The Battle of Brockton. Spellman has it again, but it's broken up momentarily by Brockton. A shot off the hands of Viola and in. Another Spellman goal off another long shot. And that is Rowan's fourth goal of the night. Goal by Emily, Rowan. Emily Rowan having a night to remember. Four goals. Spellman now up five to two with 11 minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the second half. Montron takes it. Gets it up to Del Pico. Del Pico being held a little bit. No whistle and Schneider picks it up for Spellman. Spellman with three unanswered goals. Spellman wasting precious seconds off the clock. O'Reilly bumps into the Spellman forward. Now Rowan intercepted by Del Pico. Montron back to Sylvia up for Anderson, but it doesn't connect. Now Jen Caruso. Caruso with it, stops. Crosses for Del Pico, the shot just a little bit wide. Spellman shielding well, now it's number one Lisa Evans. Rita Montron up for Sylvia. Intercepted by Spellman. Now Lara Andron along the far sideline. Eight minutes and 50 seconds left. Sylvia up for Tiana Brooks. Brooks up for Caruso. Crusoe pushed, no whistle. <coughs> the refs letting the girls play tonight.
Caruso over to Del Pico. Del Pico stops. Dancing with it. Crosses looking for O'Reilly. Doesn't connect. Now Spellman back the other way. Almeida with the breakup. Now Spellman with another opportunity. And uh, number 18 was, uh, looked like she slipped on the ball. Went down a little hard and got up very slowly. So Riley looks for Caruso. Caruso pressuring. And <coughs> Schneider out of her net to kick the ball to midfield. And we have a penalty called against Spellman. It'll be a Brockton free kick. Seven and a half to go. Brockton not playing very motivated. And the later stages of this game now down by a score of five to two. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports from a very lively Marciano Stadium. Montron with it. Her shot is picked up by Schneider. Schneider's kick goes right to Ariana Silvia who still has it. She gets it up to Narita Montron who spins. Back to Silvia. Crossing for Caruso. Caruso chasing it down. Gets it, Schneider's down, racing back to the net. Jen Caruso is going to have it go out of bounds off of Spellman. It'll be a Brockton throw in. Another Brockton throw. Six minutes and 15 seconds left to go in this one. Jen Caruso with it. Back to Del Pico. Del Pico, excellent spinorama. And another boxer throwing. Spelling quite content to keep kicking this ball out of bounds and waste precious seconds off the clock. Montron now trying to turn the corner. She crosses, it's broken up by the head of one of the Spellman Cardinals. A shot into the hands of Julia Schneider who makes another save. Tiana Brooks chasing it down for Brockton. She kicks it right out of bounds to the feet of head coach Admir De Silva. Off of Mackenzie O'Reilly out of bounds. Brooks back across midfield for Montron. Montron. Trying to find Megan Anderson, but it's broken up. Almeida gets it up to Sylvia. Sylvia looking for Montrand. Mackenzie O'Reilly now. And Spellman able to put it up. And not out of bounds, it's put out of bounds by number 15, Amanda Almeida. Brockton might have an opportunity if they can get upfield enough. Julia Schneider was having her shoe tied by one of the defenders, so that is two players that were down at the same moment for Spellman, but Brockton unable to capitalize as Almeida takes the free kick. Jen Caruso drags down a defender, no whistle. It's picked up by Schneider. And there will be a late whistle on Jen Caruso. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go in the Battle of Brockton. Spellman up five to two over the Brockton Boxers.
Dublin has it along the far sideline, trying to waste out the last three minutes of this game. Montron spins, stops, pops, looks for Anderson, doesn't connect, but Caruso has it in the middle of the field. Jen Caruso turns. She has it broken up. This Feldman player down holding her leg. Brockton might be able to capitalize on the down Cardinal. The shot picked up by Julia Schneider and the whistles will sound to stop the clock for the injured Cardinal on the field. Another injury to Cardinal Spellman. And she's holding her ankle. Number 20 for the Cardinals, that is Lisa, uh, Lily Demers. The senior captain of this Cardinals team. And that might be a big injury for Cardinal Spellman as they gear up for the MIAA tournament. Another injured Cardinal Spellman Cardinal as Demers is still not getting up. Two minutes, 28 seconds to go in the Battle of Brockton. Five to two the score, Cardinal Spellman with the upper hand against the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from the newly named Peter Farley Press Box here at Marciano Stadium, overlooking the Harry C. Allen track, Armin Colombo Field. And further down the line, we have the John Waldron Snack Shack. Very cold night here at Marciano Stadium. Demers still not getting up. Finally, Coach Mike Perry and Jerry Connors able to pull her up and she's going to walk to the sideline. She is limping, fav favoring the right ankle. And she's going to hop off. Assisted by both Mike Perry and Meredith McManus. Not a good sign for the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals having their senior captain, Lily Demers. And what looks like a pretty severe injury. The week that the MIAA tournament gets underway. Spellman free kick as Demers able to get to the sideline of holding that right ankle. Schneider with the kick headed by Sylvia back the other way with 2.15 left in the Battle of Brockton. Brockton looking to at least get a couple of more goals with time winding down here. And with two minutes left, official time is going to be kept on the field by the referees.
Brockton. He's got to throw in along the far sideline. Narita Monchon back to Sylvia, but it's off of Spellman, so Brockton has a throw in deep in Spellman territory. Narita Montron trying to spin. Broken up by Spellman, cleared back out of bounds, wasting more and more time off the clock for the Brockton boxers. The shot off the hands of Schneider, and she's able to hold on. Another excellent save by Julia Schneider. That kick all the way up, looking to spring Emily Rowan, who's got four goals on the night. Amanda Almeida kicks it back up into Spellman territory. It's taken by Maria Del Pico. Spellman player tumbling to the ground, being helped up by Jen Caruso. Good show of sportsmanship. About a minute to go, if not less, in this one. Five to two, Spellman on top of the boxers. Almeida kicks it upfield as the refs are looking at their watches. Caruso looking for one last opportunity. The shot, excellent diving save by Julia Schneider. going out of bounds so Brockton will have a corner kick with probably about 20 seconds left in this game it's going to be taken by Narita Montrond Montrond curving it in the shot loose ball in the box Schneider was down and it goes out of bounds Brockton will have another corner kick an excellent opportunity for the Brockton boxers with probably about 15 seconds left Montrond will try to do it again. The corner kick all the way across the box taken by O'Reilly, kicked out on the other side. It's gonna be a Brockton corner kick on the other side now. Three straight corner kicks for Brockton. Gonna be about five seconds left in the game now. It's gonna be curved the other way by Jen Caruso. Caruso in. And out the other side. And the whistle sounds. What, one of the, there was a whistle. There was a penalty stoppage and a free kick. And now the whistle sounds ending the game. Spellman defeating Brockton High for a second time this season by a score of five to two. Charging ahead by four goals by number 15, Emily Rowan. And Brockton's two goals came from Narita Montron and Jen Crusoe, the dynamic duo up front. So Brockton heading into the tournament with a loss here at Marciano Stadium on senior night for everyone here at BCA Sports. The final score here from Marciano, 5-2, Spellman over Brockton. We'll see you next game.